Hello everybody, Diane Blake asked me if I could do a cupcake wrapper. You will, you will see what I mean. So let's do that. I'm in top view and go to the cylinder and bring out the cylinder with 64 um, sides and make it uh, 33 by 33 millimeters. A key, so we see it, then I select this polygon, B for bevel, bevel it in a little, and shift click, bevel it in a bit more, and delete this. Then in polygon, mode I shift X this, bring it up just a bit like so, then I can delete, uh, sorry, select two polys in here, L key and shift X again and bring this up to, let's see, to about here, yes, to here. Then I select an edge in here and another one on the outside, Alt C, uniform, but the count of 11, yes. Then I go to a front view and bring out a linear fall off from here up to here, a bit higher, and this must all be zero and then we can press the R key and on the green circle bring this out uh, 120 percent like so that's good then I select an edge in here and another one here up arrow key, L key, and then R key again, and on the green circle again, bring it out another, uh, another 20%. Like so. Good. Now we must get rid of the, the fall off. Then I can bevel this edge with a round level of 1 and the round shape and bring this out a little and now we should have nice sharp edges on the outside and round ones on the inside and this is how a cupcake wrapper should look like. And I think I Delete these polygons, L key, delete, and select these edges, and this one, and this one, and run Seneca Menars Perfect Circle. The link is in the description. And now we have nice. Uh, nice edges which fade out towards the bottom. Good. Now I can delete some here, L key, shift up arrow, let's see, some more. Let's keep the top four, delete this. Then I control copy, control V this, R key and bring this down to about 98% and up W key like so. Then we can give this a material. So this is a uh, color one and invert the selection M again, color two and height the outer one and two, four, delete everything below here. 
Now we can make uh, the, the cake itself. I select these edges here, P key, and select this polygon, Control X, Control V, and then bevel this, but we have to be very careful here in the corners. So actually I just right click to activate the bevel tool, then R key, and on the green circle again, pull this in, like so, run perfect circle again, good, and bring it a bit more out, like so. Then I select the, no, first I select this polygon, then go to polygon, spiky, click in the viewport, then I select this middle vertex here, only one, B key again with a round level of zero and uh, 0.5 millimeters and apply. And now we have to wait a bit, otherwise I will crash mode on. I don't know why it takes so long. Anyway, we have now, uh, we can now select an edge in here, Alt C. That's too much, too many, to about five. Then Alt 3, Shift up arrow twice, top view, and then I go to fall off, radial fall off, bring out radial fall off, auto size it, and bring this up, W key, like about so, and then I get rid of the fall off R key and make this maybe a hundred and three percent. That's good. U for unhide. Yes, that's good. M again. And uh, this is the cake material, so cake. And here we can um, maybe select some polys in here, up arrow key, make some additional decorations, up arrow key, and then M again and call this uh, C3, color 3. And now, how does it look? Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. Now I make a cherry in the middle. And for that, I use a quad ball with uh, five subdivision levels. W, that's a bit big. Anyway, then we can center this in Z and X. <coughs> Wrong one is here and make it smaller. Go out of subdivision. Then I make the stem of the cherry. So I bring the middle part in, B for bevel, bevel it down a bit. Then select this middle polygon, uh, sorry, vertex here, B for bevel, bevel it out, select this here, shift X and bring it up to here. Then I go Alt C, that's okay, back to polygon mode. I only want the top ones here. Then deform bend. For that I go to uh, this view and bring this down to about 
here, then we can bend this shift up arrow M again, call this stem H to hide M again, call this cherry U for unhide. And now this gives me uh, an opportunity to do something which I don't think I have ever done in my tutorials. How does this cherry look? Hmm? Almost like a cherry. W, bring it a bit higher up, like so. I don't think I have ever done anything with replicators and uh, the chocolate uh, decoration here on this cake will be done with replicators. So let me start by uh, pressing the N key for a new mesh. And then I bring out a quad ball but with one subdivision level and make it about come on this size delete this one and then go out of subdivision and call this mesh uh, prototype Then I go back to my mesh in top view and select uh, some vertices in here, up arrow key, then some in here, up arrow key, and some here, up arrow key and some more here. Now if you think this is too regular, you can always remove some and uh, add some other ones uh, random. You know what I mean. But I will keep this as it is now. So control copy, N for new mesh, control V, by the way, this does not work, I think, before Modo 601 or even 701. I'm not so sure. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work in 501. Okay, now we have the second mesh here. And these are our points. And then we can add, uh, add a replicator item and in the replicator properties I can say my prototype is the prototype my points are the point source and something has happened but not where we want to have it but anyway before I go away from here I give some random twists 33 and 50% random scales and then I go back to my prototype and center select it ah, but in polygon mode center select it all and now my chocolate pieces should be in the right place. Finally, I shift click on here and put in a plane, give this a material also, call it uh, plane. And I forgot, give this a material. Uh, this is uh, chocolate. And now we can go and render it. Yeah, quite happy with this. Uh, the mesh, 
and tap key to subdivide it. I will not subdivide the chocolate. And then we can add some materials. I will speed up this part in the video. Okay, now the cake material I found, there are many uh, cake textures on Google Pictures, uh, but I found that miscellaneous organics sponge looks quite well too. So I take this. And this does not look right here. So I go to the UV tab, edit UVs, delete UVs, and then select just this here, UV protection. And I found Atlas is working very well. Select this and now it should look better. And I have for some reason ruined okay now I would like to have my mesh render level 6 and 888 control enter and render it And that's it. This is how I would make a cupcake wrapper. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it and it was helpful. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.